Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Man, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, you already know that something is amiss or something ain't quite right when the GOAT speaks out about it, man. Y'all might not, he might not be your GOAT, but he my GOAT. Chris Smooth, I'm explaining to you why in a second, man. Uh, he talking about the phase, special delivery, all that good stuff, the nerf, the changes. All that, what he likes, what he dislikes, all that good stuff, man. We're going to get into it in the video. Also, we got my guy NBA 2K2. He's talking about the set shooter badge, giving y'all the full statistics on it. I'm going to give y'all the link to the description, a uh, link video in the description. And last but not least, bro, I've been watching my guy Demon Kev all day, man, bro. Current Zen. I don't even get it, bro. I don't even know how people still playing that. But if y'all do nothing else, like the video, man, because we bring in the 2K heat every day of the week. And uh, let's just get right into it, man. We don't need no long intro. There you go! You make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that heavy. Like I said, man, a lot of people, hey, y'all might get mad that I say it's the GOAT, man, but he the GOAT to 2K activity. It's Chris Smooth. Let me tell you why I say Chris Smooth the GOAT, man. Because everybody wants to be like Chris Smooth in that everybody want to just be able to build their channel up the way that they want to. How many channels Chris Smooth got that I know of? One. This dude been on his channel since like 2006, building it up. This dude dropped hell -er, And I'm talking about hell -er videos every day. And all of them go over 100K. How many people can say that, bro? That they drop hella videos every day and they all hit at least 100, man. He ain't in no slump. His 2K, hey, it, ain't, it is what it is, man. Now, he got a couple million views, but I don't care how many millions of views you got. To be able to do that, to do it the hell, everybody's dream is to do it the hell they want to do on, they, on their YouTube channel, and that's just it, bro. And look at this, bro. Look at this mess, man. Look at this, bro. Bro, bro somebody come look at this. Look at this. Look at this. First thing dude do, look at this. No dribble moves pass, sprint the other way, and goes and fades. Look at this too, look at this, this is something I want y'all to look at. Look at him go that way and then sprint the other way. Now look, this, this is some of the things that Chris Moore was talking about in this video. Bro, let me tell you, this dude was spitting facts, and I'm talking about fizz acts. And we're gonna get into that in a second. But let's talk about this first. My guy NBA 2K Toops, man, he put out his video and uh, he was talking about the set shooter badge. Y'all go over there, check it out, bro. Look, this dude, he, he, he he works hard, he puts in the research, he does all this stuff, um, so you don't have to. And this ties into Chris Moves video too, man. Listen, 2K Toots does all the hard work. He tests all the stuff, lets you know what, what happens. And uh, you know, some stuff he, 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 like, he got, you know, I agree with. Some things we don't agree with, but you ain't gotta agree with everything somebody says to be their friend, you know what I'm saying, to be cool with them. Hey, but this is one of the things, he's talking about the set shooter badge, and he's just talking about how it works, when it activates, all that good stuff, blah, 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 yakety smackety. And uh, you know, he's just letting you know, you know, how to use it, how to activate it, how far you gotta go to activate it, all that good stuff, boom. So y'all go check that video out, cause that's my guy, NBA 2 k 2 but like I said, I'm watching Chris Moore's video, and uh, you know he's just talking about stuff, the stuff that I'm talking about. Obviously, they patched special delivery. He touched on that. He said it was a much needed patch, bro. You're getting team take, which is supposed to be a team accomplishment that you're supposed to get over several. You know what I'm saying? Over time in a game, you're supposed to get it over time in the game. You're getting it on one play. Not even one play, one pass, and a bad shot. What is in most cases considered a bad shot, you're getting team take over. Now I get it. A lot of times when people get a uh, team takeover or you know they do it, I think the 2K did it in in this way. There's like, it's gonna be hard to get off a flashy pass and hit that shot. So it's supposed to be, you know, by um by difficulty or what have you. So it's, it's more difficulty. So yeah, you're supposed to be able to, you know, you did something very difficult. You, you, not be, you shouldn't be able to hit fadeaway threes. You know what I'm saying? Running fading threes on the regular. So they probably thought that that was gonna be very hard. And thus, because it was gonna be something very hard, then you deserve to get a whole bunch of us uh, uh, attributes off of that or you know towards your takeover but it turned out it's not hard and i guess we're well, actually one of the easiest shots in the game 2k2 did a thing on that too it's not a hard shot it's a really easy shot in this game 2k2 did the thing on and show you that you got just as good a chance to hit those shots as you do uh as you do 
you hit this, and then that's all you gotta do. Come out here, spam ankle breaker. You spam ankle breaker, boom. Just like what he got me with, bro. How do y'all play this game without ankle braces when I can get my ankles broke like that all the time? Not, not. I don't get it much, but when I see brute hitting y'all with these joints and y'all don't have ankle braces, I can tell you immediately. But anyway, what Chris Moore was saying is, you shouldn't be able to do that. Like you don't, you, as a team, you don't even have a chance to have any recourse. You just literally throw one special delivery pass. They take a bad fade like that, and uh, you know they can hit it. And what pretty much what he was saying is, I could see. If it was like once you get your takeover, then you can green them or stuff like that. But you can green them joints out the gate. Just like he was saying, you know, a lot of people have trouble breaking ankles before they get their takeover. Once they get their takeover, it's, it's ankle breaker city. So, you know, I get it, man. And I completely agree with all of that because you shouldn't be able to get that joint out the gate. The biggest thing that he said that I agree with too, man, is look, 2K took their sweet ass time patching it. And it didn't even take a whole lot for him to patch it. Like, why did it take so long for y'all to patch special delivery when all that was was a hot fix, bro? Like, it wasn't, and I get it, y'all probably didn't know it was broken. Y'all don't watch the channels that tell y'all this stuff like mine and all that. I don't got enough. I don't have enough subs and stuff like that. But And, and you know, people don't watch me on Twitch and stuff. But when I say something is an issue, I'm just complaining. That's what I'm doing. But when the bigger guys finally say something because they try to get their ass whooped by it, then, then that's when it's a problem. I just feel like, you know, like I said, some people feel like it's blinders that's the problem. Some people feel like it's not the fade. Listen, bro, it's the fades. If you couldn't hit the fades, blinders wouldn't be an issue. Now, if blinders wasn't there, maybe we could get a better contest on it. But it's just the fact that you shouldn't be able to hit a fadeaway three anyway at a high clip. It shouldn't be a shot that you can rely on. It's to the point where people were basing their offenses off of it. And that's pretty much what he was saying in the video, man. He's like one shot take, and then you get a, bro, it's crazy. And then the other thing that he said, this is when I knew he was the GOAT right here, because he watched the GOAT videos, right? He, you know what I'm talking about? He watched this GOAT. He was saying the same thing that I say about offense, defense wouldn't be that bad, except for they put this new foot planning system into the game. And only the defense has to abide by the new foot playing system. Offense don't have to abide by it. Offense is they dexing, they running this way, turbo this way, spin on a dime. Like this, you saw that first move that I, that I hit right there with where I showed y'all in the first part of the game with a dude rent this way and then turn and sprint it that way, just straight pivoted. But it's defense. If I get too much momentum built up going left, I gotta hit, I gotta, I get penalized by going right and stuff like that. Like it sucks because of the fact that I like. I don't understand why offense and defense play by two different rules in this game. Because offense, you if you moving too fast this way, you can't just change direction. But that's what they can do in this game. You can literally just change direction. Flick the left stick to the right or to the left, boom, you just go through the legs, you change directions instantly, and nothing, and nothing happens. You have no penalty. But defense, if you build up too much of momentum going one way or the other, boom, you done. And the dude is gonna kill you. And yes, it should be like that, but it should be like that on offense too. Trays up, splash down. Like it should be like that on offense too. I can't just just change direction like for real in real life on offense, but you know it is what it is. Like I said, you know, the foot planting only does that. And then my God, the last two things with the shot clock cheese. Now, like I said, the shot clock cheese, we already know that that goes. And the overtime cheese, the overtime bad camera cheese. We know how that goes, man. But it is, I just thought it was interesting that he and I agree on a lot of the same things. And it's probably because we both play basketball and we both know something about basketball. But the biggest thing, like I said, look at look at this, look at how he, look at this unrealistic movement. Like, look, you see how I can't change direction with him instantly, but he just instantly just changed direction. Like, you can't be running straight there and then just instantly change direction. He don't even have to slow down. Like, boom, look, change direction back up like what is that and then there's another thing where you can just turn and just run the other way and stuff like that it's just insane i think that's two of the biggest things like a lot of plan then then he tried to go fade and he probably was gonna go in and some stuff like that he know he's done for it now but you know it is what it is but it's just crazy that we have to go through this and that's why defense seems like it's so bad as well but there's a way to counteract and you can play defense in this game. I play really good defense in this game. And the thing is, you're not gonna stop somebody every time. Would I get a hell of a lot more stops if it wasn't for FaZe? You damn right I would. But I, I completely, I completely, they really, look at that, you can get stops inside. Look at Dre smoke some, smoke some Dre. He, 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 he. smoke J's every day. And he shot a standing, so he missed it. That's what we literally said in the game. That's, that's, that's a standing he missed. But it's just crazy that you gotta, that you really have to go through the stuff that you have to go through in this game just to win. When they take the face out, bro, I, I don't know what a lot of people gonna do when they take the face out because a lot of people talking trash like they're gonna be good when they take the face out. But I'm watching people stream and stuff like that, and they got their special delivery on and all of that stuff, bro. 
even with special delivery being toned down, I'm seeing people, y'all looking real regular out there, a lot of streamers, a lot of YouTubers, like just losing to regular stuff. Bro, how you losing to regular stuff when when you can't you so so obviously you are y'all low key wanted in the game too because y'all can't win without it either is what i'm saying because like i'm seeing people really lose like four five games in a row to regular people doing regular stuff and because they can't fade no more they they ingrained it so deeply into their game that you know that hey they just can't they can't do it no more bro i guess i i don't know but have y'all noticed the same thing y'all seen y'all favorite youtubers and streamers lose a lot more because they can't fade hey, i never relied on it i just do it when other people do it nah you relied on other people doing it to you so you would have an excuse to do it that's what i feel like it is but hey it is what it is i digress i'm the worst player in the community i just try to play defense and hit my open shots that's all i try to do man you know it is what it is but like i was saying man um on to the next thing like but like i said y'all y'all think fades what do y'all think is the biggest part of it is it fades in general that's the problem or do y'all feel like it's it's the blinders and the other stuff like that i feel like it's just fades in general if it's fades in general then you wouldn't you wouldn't really have to do it and, and stop sending me stuff talking about y'all youtubers y'all 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 who the fuck is y'all i don't be saying none of this bullshit that these other dudes be saying like somebody sent me something talking about y'all youtubers do this and blah 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 and he sent me something where bullet tv was faded bro do you know you know bullet tv was the first person that was fading and shit right like he was the first person that was doing the fades and all of that and he discovered that you could fade so why wouldn't he be fading he was like yo you can hit these fades without whatever and i guess he's just trying to get the information out to the devs and stuff like that but he been fading since day one and he ain't he's like you know he was the person that literally said there was no point in taking the standing shot because you can fade and you can fade at just a high clip so of course he's gonna be fading still until it's over with so man don't be sending me no shit like that talking about y'all because i don't even do that stuff but y'all just want to say something y'all just want to have something to say man it is what it is i get it you ain't got no force last but not least we got my boy i'm watching demon kev man bro current gen is a cesspool right now bro like i, I really see people out there playing current gen and uh, damn, 73% contested. Who's that's tough. Ah! I'm seeing people him playing current gen, and he's playing the uh the the uh, not the wreck, but he's playing uh what's that thing? Comp wreck comp, comp stage, bro. That comp stage is tough over there, bro. When you playing comp stage over there, you playing against two dudes that shouldn't be able to shoot. They both got zens, and then you got you you got the guard that you're playing against. That you got a double, so you got to double the guard because he got a zen and he got unrealistic movement with the double speed boost and the double 18 time curry slide. And then you got, uh, then you're supposed to be able to double him and leave one guy open and get back to him, but then you can't even leave him open because he because that guy got a zen and because he got a zen, he's gonna hit shots that he normally wouldn't hit. And so you got be it like, bro, I don't get it. And then people want to go back to that, like, why do we want to have? Let me tell you something, bro. I don't want nobody on my team limited. I want you to be able to do everything. If you come out here and you and your build can't shoot, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, why can't your build shoot, bro? Every build in this game should be able to shoot and go to the rim. Now, the thing that you got to really pay the price in, price in is you either want to be able to dribble the ball uh, with, with a different build. You either want to be able to dribble the ball or you want to be able to play excellent defense. I chose to be able to play excellent defense and dribble the ball a little. Some people want to be able to dribble it a lot, but I don't understand why you want your teammates to be in there. Like that's so damn selfish to me. Like you just you just play defense, and now I got a I got a reason to not pass you the ball because I know you can't shoot. Like like y'all understand what I'm saying? That's what I feel like a lot of people uh, really really feel like. But back to Kev, yo, this dude is one of the better lockdowns in the game, and I'm watching him out here playing his heart out, and dudes is beating him dead ass because they got zens and because. You know, they're hitting shots and they shouldn't be able to hit them shots and stuff like that, bro. I'm just like, it's it's insane to me how, like, somebody told me in the comment section yesterday that on current gen, you dead ass got three zens on the other team or at least two at any given time. And you got people with like a 73 ball hitting over there. Bro, I couldn't hit consistently with a 73, with a 73 ball. I know damn well most other people couldn't do it. So, you know, it is what it is. I don't see, I hope y'all all get next gen pretty soon and y'all get the get the freedom of the builder before the youtube is messing up man because i love the freedom of the builder where my player can do everything i'm a threat anywhere on the court and i can just i can be impactful like people can't just feel like they can just sag off there should never be a player on the on the court that you like we ain't got to guard him you understand what i'm saying but at the same time it's got to be fair it's got to be balanced it's got to be all of that stuff man but that's where we at man like i said chris moog spoken the goat spoken 
them fades gotta go, bro. We gotta do something about them joints, man. Like, I don't know what we can do about them. Let's just make, like he said, let's just let's just make it just turn the sliders down. That's it. Fades don't go in from three. So you turn that slider down, leave everything else up. But the one thing is, we all know when 2K does something, they they typically it, when they change one thing, it changes everything. So hopefully it's not gonna change and then it's gonna mess up shooting as a whole. I don't want that. I want it to be harder to hit fades only. And that's it because a fading shot is very difficult in real life. If it's a pull up two or it's a baseline fade or it's a, or you know what I'm saying, one of those very close fades, I'm cool with that. But the from three, come on, bro, stop it. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Somebody gonna say something like Steph Curry and did that. Yeah, but they hit that shit at a 12% clip, bro. Look up the stats. When Steph shot 105 threes straight in a row, what were those? Straight catch and shoot, straight sitting in one spot, straight doing that. Just shooting, shooting. They weren't fades. It wasn't a fade in a bunch, bro. Steph shoots a high percentage, but on those fades, he's human just like everybody else. It's probably about 12 to 15% at best. So, you know, especially from three. From two, anybody can get that and just guide it in there from two. Like, that, that was my game when I was playing. I'll put up video of that later on. But, like, from three, nah, it's not the case, man. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Uh, give me a gym star down in the comment section if you made it this far. Make sure you like the video because it helps me in the algorithm. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Channel. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.